boxing, fighting, martial arts, the sweet science, called so, because it is tactical, methodical, and strategic. The art of war, in combat sports, is ancient, with both esoteric, and exoteric, significances. On the walls of the tombs in ancient Egypt, there are scenes of two fighters engaged in combat. One is darker, the other is lighter, and this is believed to represent a certain symbolic duality. This duality is also represented by the yin and yang symbol, which sits in the center, of the Bhagwat octagon. As the old adage states, numbers don't lie, so let us go to the tell of the tape, and consider the following numbers, 74, 42, 6, and 3. In the white trunks, we have Muhammad Ali, a boxer, the GOAT, greatest of all time. Born in 42, and died on June 3, 2016, at the age of 74. In the black trunks, we have Kimbo Slice, a street fighter, born in 74, and died three days after Muhammad Ali, on June 6, 2016, at the age of 42. These two fighters represent two sides of the duality, and are linked symbolically by numerology. Muhammad Ali dominated the boxing ring, the squared circle. Kimbo Slice fought in the UFC, Ultimate Fighting Championship, inside the octagon, which is also called the squared circle. When two fighters are engaged in combat, we say that they are squaring off with each other. This is all symbolic language. Consider the symbolism of the word boxing. A box refers to the geometrical figure of the cube. A cube has six sides, three visible, and three, invisible, at any point in time. In masonry, a cube is formed from stone called an ashlar. When a stone is in its rough and crude state, taken directly from the quarry, it is referred to as the rough ashlar. After the mason uses his tools to cut, carve, and polish the stone into a cube, it is referred to as the smooth ashlar, or, perfect ashlar. Kimbo Slice, the raw untrained street fighter, represents the rough ashlar. Muhammad Ali, the well-trained, well-accomplished boxer, represents the perfect ashlar. The square is the tool, used by the workman, whereby to test, rough and perfect ashlars. Fight! We must know that the ashlar is a symbol of man. Like man, each rough ashlar begins as an imperfect stone. The rough ashlar is man in his raw, unrefined natural state. Rough around the edges, but still with potential to be made perfect. Through constant work, diligence, discipline, dedication, education, cultivation, skill, and training, man can symbolically cut, carve, polish and smooth the rough stone to become a square, upright, and true perfect ashlar, tried by the square of virtue, and encircled by the compasses of his boundaries. As Kimbo Slice perfected himself as a fighter, he went from street fighting, to mixed martial arts, then to boxing. Kimbo Slice had six children, three sons, and three daughters, and all of their names start with the letter K. The letter K is the eleventh letter of the alphabet, so K plus K plus K, is 33. Kimbo's mixed martial arts record was, 5 wins, and 2 losses. As a professional boxer, Kimbo was undefeated, with 7 wins, and 0 losses. The lesson to be learned, is that man can improve himself. To become a better man, one must work towards self-improvement. Once a man has perfected his ashlar, to the best of his ability, it is his duty to help others become better men. The distinction between the rough and perfect ashlers, is an eloquent example, of the power of refinement, for the latter does not differ from the former in its substance, being the same stone as completed for use. The word, perfect, properly means, complete, and suggests that while none of us may hope ever to become flawless, each of us, can constantly strive for perfection. This is the constant struggle, this is the ongoing fight. You win! Perfect!